What's going on, guys? It's your boy Shams here back again. Uh, today we're just looking at the Nvidia Shield 2019. Um, I've had some questions, not necessarily on YouTube, but just in general about the AI upscaling. So I figured I'd make a video just to show what exactly it is. Um, in looking at other videos on YouTube, I noticed that there weren't many videos that showed the upscaling using a capture card. Um, most people are showing the upscaling by pointing a camera at a screen, which made it very difficult to actually see the difference. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna enable the video upscaling demo, and we're gonna look at a couple YouTube videos and just look at what the upscaling actually does. So if you've never heard of AI upscaling before, essentially what it means is it's able to, or Nvidia has created an algorithm which looks at um, source material or source media that isn't 4K and it upscales it to 4K. And the way that it does that is by actually um, calculating where the pixels should be. So it adds in pixels just to enhance and kind of sharpen the image a little bit. So I've turned on the demo mode here already. And then like I said, I've queued up some videos on YouTube in my history page just to look at what the actual like difference the is. So this video up, right here is from The Verge and they're looking at the MacBook Pro 16, as you can tell. Um, so looking at what the current quality is set at, it's set at 480p. So imagine you had an older video or you're watching a, an older movie um, and it just looks terrible on your TV. The upscaling actually happens, sorry, the upscaling actually happens automatically so what you would end up seeing oh, is this right here. So if I and actually, just let it move it forward to a bit until here. A bunch of them, so I really want, the reason why I chose this one is because he's wearing a checkered shirt. We've got the pink kind of checkered mat um, on the table. And you can kind of see that it's, it's pretty blurry and hard to see. So we're going to go ahead and just do the AI upscaling test so that we can see the difference. So right now, where it says basic is obviously terrible quality and when I hit the button again now you can see that it's actually become a little bit sharper so going back blurry forward a bit of a sharper image now that still might be difficult to tell the difference so it actually allows you to do a split screen so we'll do that now and I will start off all the way to the right and then slowly make my way across and you'll see that upscaling happen in real time. So just make note of the um, the pattern on his shirt and the pattern on the table as well and see how those lines sharpen up as we move across the screen slowly. So here we go, slowly making our way and you can see that it's becoming a much sharper image. The lines are cleaner and clearly differentiated and just makes for an overall better viewing experience. Is it perfect? No, but at the end of the day, it does look a lot better. So that's just one example. Um, this one here we can look at as well. Sorry for the ad. Because it really doesn't matter what video we're looking at, um, just so long as I kind of set the quality down a bit lower stuff, and then really been able to test open the video yet. and this time I won't freeze really frame it I'll just go back and forth in real time in while the video is playing so there's basic it, there's and there's, there's enhanced and then if we split sure screen it while he's talking we do the same kind of idea so start from the far right and, and make our way to the left and you'll see that it just kind of cleans up the image overall so this looks a lot better than in December and it's the not shipping basic January, image which means that you're does still it look have to wait a while before. sorry does it look like the 1080 one, no not necessarily this is obviously always going to be cleaner but right now. at the end of the day it's like we said it's just a nice US, option to have for when you're watching an older video version. and it's coming through blurry and not looking that great on your screen one last one to look at uh, Flossie Carter. This is something that you might want to Again, take a look just using this one because of the texture on the table. No, it's not a real so wood table. He's just uh, using a, a mat. Intuitive. But got this features. again does a, a pretty good response. job at showing so we'll check this out how that upscaling works. So if I drop the quality down to 480 and we look at it again, we'll the see. wood grain is right, very so blurry. 
Samsung um, keyboard not company. very sharp at all. I'll wait till he puts bucks. this back down. All right, so let's, see what you... so let's just rewind a little bit. This is not a case that everybody's going to want. And I'll pause it here. And then one more time. So we have the basic. And then when we upscale it, way cleaner. And on this video is a lot easier to tell because of the contrast on the table and with the phone. But again, just look at that huge difference there. So basic. And then upscaled. And we'll do the same test as before. So I'll just do it on the left side of the screen. I won't do the whole screen. And just watch the difference in the grains as we go left. So again, everything's just getting cleaned up, sharpened. It's adding those pixels in and making it look much, much better. Um, now, a couple things that are going to affect this is obviously, do you have a 4K TV or monitor? That's huge. That's going to make a very large difference. But even if you don't, the difference is still noticeable. So again, this is upscaled. And then if I make my way back, you can see just how terrible it looks. Again, so blurry. The Samsung is hard to read. And then going back to the left, cleaning it up, upscaling it. And there you go. So this actually works um, automatically in any app that you're watching uh, video in. It'll automatically upscale it if it's available. Um, you'll probably notice that on Netflix that it's not really upscaling. And most of the time on YouTube, it's not really upscaling. That's because the videos that people are releasing these days are usually released in 1080 or above. So you have lots of 4K videos on YouTube already and lots of high quality stuff on Netflix as well. It's just when the video is lower quality that it attempts to upscale it. Um, so if you are noticing that, for example, a perfect example would be if we go and watch uh, a video from MKBHD, which I'm sure he'll be somewhere in my feed because I watch his videos religiously. Surprise, he's not showing up yet. There he is. Oh, that's Prime Picks, not even him. So this is from six month ago, months ago. You know that MKBHD shoots his stuff in very high quality. So I can set it to 4K right now and let the video kind of play through a bit. And I'll try to pause it right here and then attempt to upscale this. And you'll notice it says basic, not active, upscaling, not required. And then if I try to test it again, AI enhanced, not active, upscaled, not re upscaled, not required. So if the video is already in high quality, as you can imagine, it won't be able to upscale it. So hopefully that helps you out in furthering your understanding of how upscaling works. If you guys have any other questions or concerns or things that you're trying to figure out in terms of uh, the functionality of the NVIDIA Shield 2017 or 2019, feel free to drop a comment below. Um, as always, appreciate the support. Feel free to like and subscribe. Um, and that's pretty much it until the next one. So peace out as always. Much love, guys. Can't see it, but I've got two of them up for you. Peace.